What is up, guys? So the last lesson I put up here was on implied metric modulation. I kind of want to continue with that topic, except with a different simple sticking. Um, again, implied metric modulation is where we imply a new time signature. So instead of going to 6-8, we imply 6-8. Or instead of going to 5-4, we imply 5-4 with our rhythms that we're playing and where we're placing the accent. So we don't actually go to a new time signature. We're still counting in the old time signature, which is just an illusion we're creating. It's kind of like, you know, whenever the magician pulls a rabbit out of the hat, he didn't really pull a rabbit out of the gum hat. There was no rabbit in there. It's all an illusion. So what this is, is an illusion that we're creating within the music, but you have to know where you are to be able to do that. Okay. So if, if our, if our pulse is here, this is the example I gave in the last one. If our pulse is here, one and two and three, and we could say we do every three sixteenth notes, we're going to do another pattern. That's three sixteenth notes. Say we do every three sixteenth notes and that's our new time. So here's how it sounds. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and a four. Mm, mm. Now, of course, that takes three bars to loop around because it's a three note pattern. So the pattern we're going to play today is even simpler than the last pattern. We're going to keep straight eighth notes going on here. So if we're in if we're in four, four, the eighth notes will never change. What's going to change is a pattern that's going underneath it. So it's going to be foot left, left, foot left, left. So I'll play just a regular groove and then I'll play that over the eighth notes. So you see how that rhythm fits underneath there. Very simply, very neatly. This is a very simple illusion. This is nothing elaborate. Um, now what we want to do, of course, to add uh, oomph to that beat, to add and actually feel like we're going to a new time signature, we need to give it a new backbeat. So what we're going to do is uh, foot, left, left, and then we're going to accent the first of the next one. So foot, left, left, foot, accent, left, ghosted, left, like this. And so if we're playing in a groove, it'll sound like this. When I don't click, I'll put a click to it in just one second. See how that implies a new time signature? Now what's deceptive is, or it doesn't imply it as hard as we want to. If we wanted to really imply it, we could take and put the ride symbol with that kick drum. So like this. So if we really wanted to put it in a new time, we could take all the limbs there. But I, you know, I like the anchor that the eighth notes give. It just gives a little bit of illusion so you're not strictly going to that and, and leaving everybody else. This can get you fired from a kick if you do it at the wrong time, okay? So just pull it out with musicians that you know can handle this, with a bass player you know is not gonna drop one and leave you hanging. All right, so let's work through this. Let's play eighth notes on the hi-hat for a measure and then we're gonna play that sticking underneath it. So I'm going to put the metronome at 70 BPM and eight notes on the hi-hat for one measure, then bakuku, bapu, bakuku, bapuku, and no accents right now. So you practice that over and over until you get that down smoothly. Then what we want to do is add the accent in there.
Now, something we can further do to confuse the beat is add accents to it. So either downbeats or upbeats. Uh, so I'm going to add downbeat accents here on the hi-hat with the eighth notes. And of course you can add different accents to that. Once you get that down, you'll want to speed it up. So what if we sped that up and we added the, say the upbeat accents here on the hi-hat and we're playing this on the ride some. Let's see what that sounds like. Up to 100 BP. Course, you know, eventually you want to get this to where you can flow in and out of it without just starting on one. You want to start on two, on the E of one, wherever you want to start it. So this would be an example of starting on some of those. So you can start wherever you want to, turn my click off. You can start wherever you want to uh, and start to move that around so that you have full functionality with it. So anyway, that's a couple lessons on just implied metric modulation. Again, we talk about some of that stuff in the live lessons and we're able to go a lot deeper into it because we've got half an hour to deal with and I've got that seven times a week, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So if you'd like to try them out, it's a dollar for the first month just to try it out. You don't like it, I'll give you a dollar back, I promise. Uh, no big deal, but I've never had anybody request their dollar back. So. Um, if you want to check it out, if not, I'll be here on YouTube. See ya. All right. We just broke apart a request from one of you guys. And now I want to know what's your favorite track that Questlove has played on. It can be with the roots. It can be with another group that he's done. Put it in the comment section below.